Hey y'all, it's Z, and welcome to this quick sip. Black History Month is an annual celebration of achievements by African Americans and a time for recognizing their central role in U.S. history. Sipping Tea is kicking off the month by celebrating Black excellence in film. In the past few years, we have seen Black creatives push the boundaries of Black cinema into superhero, romantic, and horror genres. Black cinema continues to evolve, becoming a necessary component of Hollywood. So here are 10 of my favorite films that put Black people and their stories center stage. The Color Purple. I mean, this should be on everyone's list. Love Jones. My all-time fave. Darius and Nina. Whew. And let's just take a moment to appreciate how fine Nia Long and Lorenz Tate are. Eve's Bayou. Such a beautiful film, both in storytelling and in its cinematography. And that cast, you have Journey Smollett, Megan Good, Samuel L. Jackson, Lynn Woodfield, Lisa Nicole Carson, who was also in Love Jones, Debbie Morgan, Vondi Curtis Hall, and the incomparable Diane Carroll. Talk about black excellence. Malcolm X, the biographical epic of the oft times controversial and influential black nationalist leader directed by the master himself, Spike Lee. Coming to America, created by Eddie Murphy. I mean, how can this not be on anyone's list? I don't know anyone who doesn't randomly quote this movie at any given time. Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. How impactful has this movie been? A superhero film where the hero is of African descent? And no one could have played T'Challa better than Chadwick Boseman. What a force we lost way too soon. Get Out, 2017's American horror film, written and directed by Jordan Peele in his directorial debut. It sets out to make the audience politically and socially uncomfortable with a candid, unflinching message about how black and white Americans interact. Moonlight, again, one of my faves. This film produced multiple award nominations and won Best Picture at the Oscars, while Mahershala Ali took home the Best Supporting Actor trophy. This film is stunning in every possible way. Fences, the film starring, produced, and directed by Denzel Washington and written by August Wilson based on his Pulitzer Prize winning 1985 play of the same name. And let's not forget Viola Davis and her Oscar award winning performance. And lastly, what's love got to do with it? Based on the life of the legendary soul singer in my top three, Tina Turner, that gave both Angela Bassett and Lawrence Fishburne Oscar nominations. Thanks, Z. Hey, y'all, it's Nat. Black voices have always been essential to American cinema. It's always been important to tell our story through the lens of people who have actually lived them. Here are 10 of my favorite films that tell renowned stories that showcase landmark performances. Full disclosure, I love musicals, right? So a lot of these films are musicals, pretty much like half of my list. So just want to let y'all know that. Starting off, The Wiz. Ease on down the road, y'all. One of the most iconic little phrases that we have used and incorporated into our everyday life in some way, shape, or form. The Wiz stars superstars Diana Ross, Michael Jackson, Richard Pryor, and Nipsey Russell. It's an extravagant, I would say, reimagining of the age-old Wizard of Oz, but has left us with an indelible impression of different ways to express yourself in a soulful, musical way, courtesy of the incomparable Quincy Jones, and gives us an idea of what could be on the other side of our own rainbow. It is necessary, I think, to really point out that it's the impact of a movie like this with stars like this that have an all-Black cast and where it has its place in history. Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, Z captured its significance well. There's really not much else I can say. It was a wonderful movie, impactful for for years to come. And, you know, thank you, Chadwick, for sharing your talents with us while you were here. We appreciate you for that. Moving on to the next musical, The Five Heartbeats. It's a Robert Townsend film, great director. And it pretty much captures... The trials and tribulations of a band of five talented guys in a musical group, which is loosely based on lives of several artists from the Dells, Temptation, Wilson Pickett, James Brown. It's it's pretty much all of those kind of mixed up together. And it follows them over three decades 
of their careers in rhythm and blues of this group called the Five Heartbeats. If y'all haven't seen it, check it out. The music is great. The, it symbolizes so much. It symbolizes the struggles that these black men had to go through at this time through racism and sep separation. And they're just trying to keep the group together in that time. And for the comedic part of it, who could forget nights like this with Ed, from Eddie Kane, right? Y'all check it out. I love it. Always a toe tapping thing. Then Boomerang, you know, it is an unadulterated classic for me. It's one of uh, Eddie Murphy's great movies. It's a perfect blend of comedy, romance, fashion, and one of the best soundtracks, I think, when soundtracks were big in the 90s. I mean, there's so many great songs on there. So many great songs on there. Um, you know, I think you look at how the relationship between men and women are presented in this movie. It just, it could be picked up and plopped down into the time frame as we are now. It's an all-star cast of Eddie Murphy, Robin Givens, Halle Berry, Martin Lawrence, Grace Jones, where we got Strange, you know, Eartha Kitt with Marcus and all that, John Witherspoon and Coordinate. There's so many catchphrases that we all use today from that movie. We could go on and on, you know, for quote for days. But I did want to say it's noteworthy. It's unique for being one of the most expensive movies with an all black cast for that time in 1992. You know, it cost $40 million to make and made $130 million at the box office, which is rare for an all black cast and crew film, but quite the accomplishment. Moving on to another Eddie Murphy movie, Coming to America. I mean, <laughs> it should be on everybody's list, like Z said. So many quotes, like with everything else that we incorporate into our lives. It's, it's just a part of our fabric, I think, as part of black culture. Love Jones, another one. Z and I agree on definitely one of my favorites as well. The the poetry, the the vibe, this the soulful representation of of artists in their own environment, I think is great. You know, I love Darius's brother to the night and Nina's poem at the end and how they close it out. The creativity, I think, is great. Then yet another musical, Ray. You know, legendary soul musician Ray Charles is portrayed by Jamie Foxx in this Oscar winning biopic. You know, it it was uh he won an Academy Award for Best Picture nominee for, for Best Picture. You know, and I think it's an amazing representation of an of a individual or gem, Ray Charles, for his good, bad and ugly of what he went through in the industry. Regina King, Kerry Washington. You know, the underlying theme is overcoming adversity and seeing it through the eyes of the different characters, I think was well done. I enjoyed seeing how he had to overcome his trials and tribulation and his inner demons, be it addiction, racism, what have you. Yet another timeless film. Color Purple, Z said it already, timeless. Yet again, I think that should just be on everybody's list. Then another musical for y'all, uh, Carmen Jones, not the Beyonce one, the original from uh, Otto Preminger. I really enjoyed Carmen Jones just to see it in that time frame in the 1950s to have a movie like this. You know, the story is set is surrounding Harry Belafonte, who's a soldier named Joe and a fiery lady named Carmen Jones, who is portrayed by Dorothy Dandridge and their unlikely relationship and basically, it's a story of man, woman, betrayal, and death. Classic time, you know, classic thread for most movies. And it's groundbreaking for its time in the, in the 50s for an all-black class, which is, you know, unheard of. So I think it's great to highlight that the musical prowess of the individuals, and it's, it's based on an opera from years past, and it won a Golden Globe, you know, for Best mo Motion Picture and Comedy. So if you haven't seen it, check it out if you like musicals. Last but not least, yet another musical, School Days. It's a 1988 American musical comedy drama film. It's written and directed by Spike Lee, starring Lawrence Fishburne, Gina Carlo Esposito, Tisha Campbell Martin, and Spike Lee himself. It's based at a historically black college, which is something that is rarely ever seen on film. And it's Mission College. There's an activist-minded individual, which is 
Lawrence Fishburne, and he immerses himself into like the political rhetoric, something that could be aligned with maybe BLM movement, I guess, to an extent, and just being woke and being conscious. Um, the first time I think you've seen on film how to be conscious, what it looked like in that time frame. And then you have on the other end, Gina Carlo Esposito, who we call Julian, who is the head of fraternity life. And this is huge at a historically black college because it's an integral part of what makes up some individuals who go to these stellar institutions. The struggles that they go back and forth of their perspectives, I think is great. And what comes with that social order and the misgivings that folks may have about how they see one another. I think it's interesting to look at how the women are portrayed as well and how they interact. There's a nod to colorism. There's a nod to social status and what that looks like. And I think it's just a great film on so many levels that that is a microcosm of the black community on a black college campus, which is something to this time we haven't really seen um, as far as black folks being accelerated and in college, which I think is great. And for this time, I think it was a great movie. And yet again, a lot of great quotes from it. Big Brother Almighty. So with that, I'm going to close out. We would love to hear from you and what your faves are. Hit us up, drop us a line on IG or Facebook under the post. We'd love to hear from you. Until next time, take care.